Hey, Jason from Theme Punch here, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the great new features in Slider Revolution 6.0. So to get started, I'm just going to create a new module, and then in my wizard here, I'm going to choose Start Guide, Scene, Full Screen, and we'll leave it at Intelligent Inheriting. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set a background color to black. And then I'm going to show you the new layer library. That's up here under Add Layer, Layer Library. And these are pre-designed elements with some great animations that can help you get started really quickly with adding some great content to your slides. So if you hover your mouse over each, you can preview each. And then toward the bottom, you can cycle through them or just select Show All and scroll to view all of the available ones. I'm going to select this one here, Slider Revolution Dark. And all items from the layer library are added as layer groups. And this just makes it really easy to move them around the stage. I could resize them right here just by dragging this corner. And layer groups are also conveniently organized in the timeline right down here. So they're all inside this group right here. Now when you first add a layer group, you might be thinking, hmm, this looks like it might be tricky to edit. But we can go ahead and change the view. And if I were to go ahead and drag this playhead right here, really it would be best if we had that view right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these keyframes right here. And then over to the right, I'm going to click Set as Editor View. So I'm going to do that for each of these layers. Set as Editor View. And right here, that's already set. And so now it's much easier to edit these. I can go ahead and select a layer, click Content, and then just edit the text right here. And then I could go ahead and change the background color if I wanted as well. So the next thing I want to show you is the new scroll-based animations. And you may have seen this on our Code Canyon preview page. If you scroll the page, you can see that items are animated as the page scrolls. And you might be thinking, hmm, this seems a little bit tricky to set up, but with the editor options, it's really, really easy. So let me show you how to do that. So first, I'm going to go ahead and center this on my stage. And next, I'm going to head to the slider settings here. And then under on scroll, choose timeline, and then enable timeline scroll based. So for the fix on scroll option, if we scroll back up to the top here, you can see the page really is scrolling. And so this module toward the top does not have Fix on Scroll enabled. But as we get to here, you can see it appears that the page no longer scrolls. And so this module has a Fixed on Scroll. So I'm going to choose that for my module here. And then I'm also going to choose Use Default on Layers right here. So once I've set this up, you'll notice this purple panel here right over the timeline. And this represents what part of the timeline we want to include for the on-scroll effect. So before I adjust that, I'm actually going to move the animation for this group a little bit further in the timeline. And to do that, I'm going to choose the magnet icon here, choose Hierarchy Sticky, and then I can just drag the animation for the group here, and everything inside it will move as well. So I'm going to drag that out to about one second. And now I'm going to adjust my on-scroll timeline right here. I'm going to set that to be also one second, and we'll drag the end to cover all of the animations in that group. So let's save this module and then test it on the front end. I'm just going to add a Gutenberg block here. And over in Document, I have the page template set to Slider Revolution Blank Template. And this is basically an option for your pages where you could just have a module without your themes, header, or footer, or any other content. So let's just view this page. And here, what we have on the right side is a scroll bar, but this actually represents the timeline right here. And because it doesn't start until one second, this is why you don't see any content yet. So as I start to scroll, it will scroll into that one second. And here you can see the timeline represented in the scrolling. So as I continue to scroll, the animation continues. And then as I continue to scroll, the layers will fade out. And then if I scroll back up, reverse happens. 
So the next thing I want to show you is timeline loop animations. So let's head back to the slider settings here. So I'm going to go ahead and disable the on scroll animation and then head over to the slide settings and under loop layers I'm going to enable use slide loop and then here I'm just going to drag this to the very beginning of the slide and then toward the end I'm just going to drag this to cover all of the animations. So let's save this and test it on the front end. And then what we'll have here is that part of the timeline is just going to loop continuously. So the next great option I want to show you is how you can now load a slider into another. And so this is demonstrated right here on our preview page if you click the Buy Now button. It has the same effect as a traditional light box. So I'll show you how this can be set up. If we head back to our slider here, what we can do is load this one into another. So because this one will be loaded into another, we'll want to add a close button, just like right here. So I'll go ahead and add an icon. Search for close. This one looks good. And align it over to the right with a 50 pixel offset. Under hover, change the cursor to pointer. Add an action, close slider modal. And let's save this. Now let's head back to the overview page and import the restaurant menu template. Head into the editor and let's set this plus icon here to open up that light box. So I'm going to select this under hover, change the cursor to pointer and then under actions I'm going to choose open slider modal. And then open modal, I'm going to choose slider one, which was the one we were working with before. So let's save that. Head back to our page, switch this to restaurant menu. And we don't need to add the other slider to the page because it's going to be loaded through Ajax. So let's update the page and then test that on the front end. And if we click the plus icon here, it loads the other slider just like it would in a light box. Okay, so the next few things I want to show you are some enhancements we've made to your editing experience. So when you add a new layer now, under text, you could choose quick style headline, and then that opens up this panel with some predefined styles. So I could just go ahead and choose this one right here and then it automatically applies the font family and font size. And then I could change it again if I wanted. And I could also use this panel to look at how things would look for other layers. So for example, if I chose this one, and I could just cycle through, maybe I like that. And if I didn't, I could just click the back button. And next is our revamped right-click menu. So if I right-click a layer, I have some options. I can choose Edit Content. That will take me directly to the content section for the layer. I could access the responsive settings really quickly right here. And I could also copy over just about anything of the layer to another. So for example, if I just wanted to copy the base style here, and then select another layer, paste it into that, now we have the same font size and font family. So then I could duplicate a layer, delete it, show, hide it in the editor, and I can also easily copy a layer into another slide. So for example, I'm just going to click copy here, head over to another slide, right click, paste layer, and here is that same layer. And lastly, I can also copy over the slide's background. So right click, copy, I could choose background. I could even copy the slide animation right here. Or if it had a filter, I'm going to choose background, which is going to copy the background image. Head back over to my other slide and right click the background, click paste background. Easy as that. And to take this copy and pasting even further, let's say that you really like something in one of the templates but you don't want to use the entire template. You just want to use, for example, maybe just a layer or an animation and then import that into your own module. Well, what you could do is head back to the overview page, import the module where you like the content from. We could choose fitness club template. 
And now if we head back into our own module, under Slides, Add Slide, I could choose Slide from Template. And then Fitness Club Template, I could choose one of the slides where I wanted to import the content from. And let's just say I really like this green shape down here, so I'm going to select it, right click, copy, head back to my original slide, and just paste it in here. And then when I'm done importing, I can just delete the slide that I no longer need. So the last great new option I want to show you today are keyframe animations. So I've set up a new module. I'm going to go ahead and add some pre-style content here. Choose Poppins. And then under Animation, for the In Animation, under Slide Transitions, I'm going to choose Long Slide from Left. And before, layers could only have an in animation and an out animation. But now we can have animations in between those. And the way that can be done is right over here toward the right, if I just hover this plus icon, this adds a new animation in between the in and the out. So how about we move that to about three seconds, extend its duration to about one second, and then under keyframe here, Advanced Layer, I'm going to choose Center for the X and the Y. So now let's preview this and see what it looks like. The layer animates in, a few seconds later, animates to the center. So you can imagine you can get really creative with your animations with this new option. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial. I'll post some links to related documentation underneath the video, and thanks for watching.